Who wears chicken waffles and french fries? I do! <laughs> Let me tell you all about my new tights. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews and thanks for hanging with me. So today I wanted to share with you my new tights. And you all, if you are new here, let me just tell you that I love making my own athletic wear. Mostly because anything that I buy out in the stores never fits me properly. They slipped on my body, they're too tight, they're too big, all kinds of issues. So I do like making my own athletic wear and extra bonus, I get to pick really fun fabrics. So if you've been following me for a while, then you already know this, but I love making some kind of out the box tights to wear. I've made stars and stripes, a fun pair of money tights, and if you have sensitive eyes, cover them right now. Cursy word tights, you could look. And now I have a pair of chicken and waffle and french fry tights. You all, I bought this fabric out when I was in Florida um, with on this location with all of my sewing buddies. And when I saw this fabric, both of these fabrics actually, I just knew I was going to make athletic wear with it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I really wanted to get it done this week because, well, my trainer is doing a turkey burner workout and I wanted to join him in some food inspired workout tights because, hey, Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I'm I will be indulging. I mean, like, come on. I'm going to be eating good. I'll be working out in these today at around 1 o'clock. I'm going to try to record some footage, but you you are no guarantees that you're going to be seeing that. <laughs> Not unless you join me in the workout anyways. <laughs> so let's talk about this pattern right here. So this is the Elizabeth Tights from Sirena Patterns. And it has a waistband and there's actually a pocket option in the back that I did not put in this one. It's a zipper pocket which is nice and big and it fits my humongous iPhone perfectly. It has deep side pockets so nothing escapes out of those pockets and it does have some really fun color blocking options all the way down the legs. There is no crotch gusset in these pants, so if that's something that you typically look for, just know that it's not available for this pair of tights. I made the size XXL, but I graded down to a large at the waist. Now, a couple of things that I actually did besides the grading to kind of make sure that these tights fit me and kind of stay put the way I like them to is I actually included some power net down on the inside of the waistband. So I lined my inner waistband with power net and I used some 505 glue to attach that. I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. And then, not only that, but when I was sewing the top of this band, the waistband together right up here, I made sure to include quarter inch elastic around the perimeter. Now, Typically, I like to do a one-to-one -one ratio if there's a lot of negative ease in the actual pattern. This pattern doesn't have as much negative ease as um, some other ones that I've made. So when I did apply the quarter inch elastic, I did slightly pull it just a bit on that seam allowance. So that way, it brought it right back in. And you all, when these pants are on, they feel really secure. Now, I'll be sure to let you know how they're doing <laughs> when I'm actually working out really hard later on today, but I, I just, I've made these before and I know that they're gonna be good. In fact, I made this pair right over here. <laughs> I really love the hearts on that one. And actually, let me show you a picture of that back pocket. Mm-hmm. It's really good. So those are the different options for this pattern. Now, one of the things that I've learned about myself is that I'm really hard on my tights. I have several pairs of tights. However, I wear them quite often because, well, I feel like I'm working out at least two to three times a week. Um, and, and then they're just, you know, nice to kind of like lounge around with, you know, throw on, go for a walk. Okay, okay, you get the idea, right? <laughs> Well, because I'm rough on my tights, what I like to do to make sure that my seams don't pull apart so that they're extra secure 
is to actually cover stitch my seams down. So I'll serge it first. And you can see I serge with white thread. And then I will cover stitch the seams as well. And that just makes it so that it's a really secure seam right there and it's really not going anywhere. Now a lot of people don't have cover stitches so if that's you or if I decided that I didn't want to use my cover stitch no problem. What I would do is sew the seam on my sewing machine and then serge the seam to make sure that it's just super secure. When I've made these just solely on my serger I found that as time went on, some of my seams would start to separate and I'd have to go back in and re-sew those seams. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're making any kind of athletic tights for yourself and you're wearing them out like I do. I really love this fabric and one of the things that I like to do is make a coordinating top, whether that's a sports bra or an actual like, you know, t-shirt of some sort to put over my workout gear to, well, basically just be super matchy-matchy and cool, right? <laughs> well, I did make a coordinating sports bra for this one, and you can see it right over here. And actually, you know, it's really fun because every time I make a sports bra, I always have to make a lot of adjustments. And sometimes I get lazy and I don't do a muslin, and well... That's, that's when the fun time really begins. So if you're interested in knowing about all of the ways that I made my life more difficult with a bunch of unfortunate decisions, you can click on the link right up here and it'll queue it up to play next. It was a doozy, you all. <laughs> I still have more food-inspired fabric that I want to use for more athletic wear. I have donuts and jelly beans. Ooh. I've already used some of it, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was actually thinking that these would be fun. And the reverse side of my sports bra that I made is actually with the jelly bean fabric. That's why you can see that I've already used some of it. But I'm planning on making a pair of coordinating tights with it. I'm not sure which pattern I'm going to use for that, but it's going to be fun. Although... I mean, I know that I have that fabric, but now that I'm really thinking about it, December's right around the corner, and I'm thinking I should actually make something that's kind of like festive-y, right? Like, you know how people make those, um, what do they call those ugly sweaters? I should make myself like an ugly workout set. <laughs> it would be so much fun. Like put little bells and stuff on it. My cat would love it. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you have any Christmassy ideas for tights that I should try to like pull off for next month. And you all, let's just make this a go. Let, let's just do this. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so just leave your thoughts in the comments below. And you all, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. So there's my chicken and waffles outfit, and I'm going to be wearing it later on to work out. Hopefully, I won't have chicken and waffles coming out of my pores, but, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to wearing this. If you're interested in knowing about the coordinating sports bra that I made, you can click on the link right over here, this little box, and it'll take you right over to that video. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.